What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today we have enough to go ahead and make Hero of Hell Dennis. And you can see we have 4.57 mil out of 3 mil, blah 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 blah, we have all this stuff. We're gonna go ahead and craft them, max them out, hopefully we have everything we need, eradicate everything. Real. Dude, this looks super sick. Hero of Hell, um, yeah, Chainsaw Man. Very, very dope. We do this, we complete this, and we should be able to get some goodies out of that. Uh, we're like just shy, dude. Oh, I gotta actually do my dailies. I'll probably do it after this video. But let's go ahead, let's go to Hero of Hell. Is he just called Hero of Hell? He is. That's actually based. We're gonna do this, max it out. Erased. Whenever this unit kills an enemy, inflict the erase debuff to all other minions on the map permanently. Increase enemy speed at 10%, max HP at 10%. Oh. Oh, that's really good. So he just he permanently decreases speed by 10%, max if you at 10%. That's insane, actually. That's actually insane. <laughs> and he's got hemorrhage, same as uh, guts. So that's pretty good. Let's just put on auto. We're just gonna roll with the first thing we get. Uh, that attack's kind of low. I lied. We're not gonna roll with the first thing we get. We're gonna let it rock some more. See if we can get something decent. Decent enough to make a showcase out of at least. And then I think I have like one passive roll, if that, uh, to go ahead and roll on him. Um, yeah, we're just gonna let it keep rocking. We got passive erase, then he has hemorrhage, hemorrhage, deal 50% unit damage 12 times over 18 seconds and cancel the healing of enemies. He's an anti hero, bloody hunt, darkness incarnate, demon hunter, devil power, hunter's instinct. Hypersonic Master Technique, Monster, Precision, Silent Sentinel, Swift and Deadly, and Unbreakable Fighter. This would be good. 112, 115, 94. And he leads Swift and Deadly. So let's go ahead. Oh, I actually got a couple. I uh, will do one, two. Entrepreneur. Dark Summoner, sure. We'll <laughs> rock Dark Summoner. Surely that's, a, that's useful, right? Not at all. So he's going to be 3760 to place. 11... 0.379 cost scale. I do want to get all the way down, but whatever, we'll do later. This is quite literally useless on him. Um, but we'll leave it on. So let's go ahead and let's see Hero of Hell what we can use him for. Uh, I do want to see the cosmetic too, because I know you guys always want to see the cosmetic whenever I get a unit. Oh, it literally just converts your whole avatar. Oh, that's actually super sick. That's dope. Um, let's go ahead and put him on the Bloody Hunt team. We have a team right here that's actually really, really good. Is he anti-hero or villain or what? What is he? He's anti-hero, so he's not affected by Griffith, so we can't use that as a buffer, but we will be using everything else. So we're gonna be using him on this. We're just going to replace uh, Griffith here, or not Griffith, Guts with him. And we're gonna go take a look. Let's go see how good he is now. And event stage. Da, 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 da. I know everyone's gonna like. Everyone's gonna be like, Valk, why did you stick with Dark Summoner? It's literally useless on him. I know it's useless on him, but it's funny. It's it's funny. Uh, I'll probably you know play the game while sleeping and gain a lot of rerolls that way, and go ahead and uh, reroll on him and try to get a good trait. But obviously, my main focus on the good trait right now is Griffith. Uh, so I will be focusing trying to get a really good trait on Griffith and going from there. So let's go ahead, let's take a look and see. Oh. Oh, he gets a whole, like, intro. Okay. And this is the erased passive on him. Okay. So he gets this erased passive. Pretty cool. Pretty cool passive. Uh, it's a permanent debuff on all enemies. Let's watch these animations now. All right. Dope, dope, dope. Next one is Chain Crusher. He gets air pretty quickly. How many placements is he, I wonder? He's only one placement, okay. So he actually gets uh, air, our hybrid, really, really fast. Just a couple upgrades, and you can see he's only 16k, like 20k to get hybrid. Really, really, really good. All right. That moves pretty good. Blades of Fleur, Fury line. Jeez, that is not a line. That is, that is a really big AoE. Massive, massive AoE. Rockfall, Rampage, full AoE. Okay, absolutely crazy. And I didn't even notice how much that was there at the end. That was like, what, 70K? Was that 700K to, on the last upgrade? Let me uh, look at that one more time. I was like half paying attention to the cost. That's super sick though, that intro. 
All right, so we're gonna do this. Chain Crusher, he has a really low SPA too, by the way. 18K, 24K, 47K, okay, so 71K. So he's actually like a regular unit, unlike Guts, where Guts is like giga expensive with a massive attack stat. He's actually like a regular unit with hemorrhage. Uh, so he's gonna be a good progressive unit and he's gonna perma slow the enemies and permanently decrease their HP by 10%. So Bloody Hunt is crazy now, isn't it? <clears throat> this doesn't stack, right? Uh, this does stack. The secondary hit the 40% damage five times over five seconds does stack with Image, uh, but nothing else does. So we're gonna go ahead and activate this. We're gonna activate Blood Moon. Then we're gonna do this. Bring out Michael Jackson. We're gonna activate Michael Jackson. We're gonna see how high he gets. 12 mil, not bad, pretty respectable, actually, actually pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and spawn in a 1 bill. Actually, I think he can handle 1 bill. Let's just do 10 bill. Alright, that should be 10 bill. I'm going to spawn in a 10 bill and just see exactly how much damage he does. Yeah, it says 9 bill, but that, that definitely is 10. I type 10. So we're going to go ahead, let him cook, and we're going to see exactly how much damage he's able to crank out by the end of it. Um, guts with Honored One was actually like if he doubles his attacks that isn't like around guts is i'm starting to think guts isn't as good as i thought he was i'm gonna be real because if he gets honored one like my guts does isn't he like no guts was that like guts could get up to like 50 or 80 mil but he's like 1.5 mil right this is like 250k i'm gonna be honest like honestly thinking about it guts doesn't do guts needs to get his price reduced like to around like 600 700k because the yeah yeah because this is really good like this is a uh, 2.25 billion right so if we look and we think about it Escanor does way more damage than guts and Escanor costs a little bit less than guts Escanor costs around a one mil and the more i played with Escanor, i agreed with his price tag i actually do think he's worth the one mil although it's insane to actually try to afford uh, but Guts does, yeah, no, I, I don't really agree with it on Guts. Um, I think his extra passive is a little bit too conditional to actually like reliably proc. So it's not something I would consider as part of his DPS. And he just feels way, way too expensive. Like um, Dennis here, Hel Hero of Hell is fantastic. He's a really good MR. Uh, but he basically, he, um, he costs like 300k total. To fully max out where guts cost 1.5 million even with even if i factor in uh even if i take and i factor in um honored one honored one would probably take that 300k and make it around like 400 425k somewhere in that range <clears throat> that's still a third of what guts is while him being half the amount of damage guts provides so maybe i'm missing something maybe in the comment section you guys can let me know something that justifies guts's cost but the more I play with other units of the update, the more I realize just how expensive Guts is and how that really, really, really hurts that unit. Um, so I really hope they do give Guts a cost reduction because it just doesn't seem worth it to me compared to other units. Like Dingy had, literally has a better secondary passive because it's super consistent. It's minus 10% HP on every enemy, which is ridiculous. Minus 10% move speed. And Guts is the very first UR triple plus. And his passive is not very consistent to actually, like his secondary passive is not consistent to actually proc, as well as him being three times the cost of Dennis while only being double the attack stat, right? So I really do hope that they uh, give Guts a cost reduction or something like that, because I do think he should cost like, I think around like 700K is like a good price point, six, 700K. But 1.5 mil just feels like way, way too much for what he offers. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.